Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to show you how to automate the next test case under the register account functionality. That is the test case number 009 of register account functionality. So let's understand this particular test case before we start automating it. So by going through this text here, Let's try to understand what exactly this test case is all about, okay? Verify registering an account by providing the existing account details, that is an existing email address. So while creating an account, a new brand new account, by using the register account functionality to create a brand new account in this particular application, while doing that process, you have to provide or pass an existing email address for which an account already exists. So what should happen if you try to create an account by passing an email address which is already, okay, or which already has an account already created for it, okay, which already has an account created for it. In such cases, okay, during that account creation process, well, you try to click on continue or whatever it is, you're, you should get a warning message. Account should not get created with, okay, with that duplicate email address, okay. For this email address, account already exists. If you try to use the same email address to create an account, what should happen? We should get a warning message instead of creating an account. We should get a warning message saying that, okay, mail address is already registered. Okay. For this email address, an account already exists. Indirectly, it has to say that. Okay. So what are the steps we have to follow? We have to open the application URL in the browser. And after that, we have to click on the My Account drop menu. Then click on the register option. And uh, here we have to fill all the fields like first name, last name, telephone, password, password confirm, newsletter, privacy, policy. everything should be correct. And here email should be, okay, email should be the email address of, email address of an existing account, okay, email address of an existing account. And finally, we have to click on the continue button and we should get this warning message instead of the account getting created, we should get a warning message because for this particular email address that you are passing, an account already exists, okay? We cannot use the same email address to register or create a new account, okay? So that's what should happen. That's what the test case is all about. So let me show you practically what will happen here. I'll go to this application, guys, that is tutorialsinja.com slash demo. After that, I'll click on the my account and then select the register option. Once I am taken to this register account page, here I'm going to provide the account details, the brand new account is like first name, last name. Here in the email address, I am going to uh, provide the email address of an account which, okay, email address for which account already exists, okay. With this email address, we already have created an account in this application. So, you are trying to pass the same email address for which account already exists instead of giving a brand new email address here. That is the only chain that you are doing. And we can give the telephone number, then we can give a password. Every other detail is uh, proper, guys, but this email address already has an account created in this application, okay? That's what is something that you have to do. Select the newsletter, select the privacy policy. Once everything is done, but this email address already has an account is provided here instead of a brand new email address. You click on the continue button. Instead of the account getting created, you should get this warning message saying, warning, email address is already registered, okay? This kind of message we should get. We have to verify that this message is coming if you try to create an account with the email address by passing an email address for which account already exists, okay? So for that to happen, guys, for that to happen, create a new class here, right click new class. I'll just name this class as test case RF underscore 009, okay, nine the test case. In this, I'm going to create a method, okay? What is the method I'm going to create? Public void, public void, verify, registering, account, Okay, verify listing account using existing email. Okay, existing email means for this email already account exists. Okay, verify listing account using existing email. Okay, that means for this particular email already the account exists. Okay, and convert this uh, test uh, this method into the test engine test method by using at the rate test annotation here. Import this and here write down web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver <clears throat> web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver and say control shift o then write down driver dot manage dot window dot maximize maximize the browser window 
and then write down driver dot manage dot time modes dot implicitly wait then say duration dot of seconds okay here give three seconds let's say then write down driver dot get provide the okay application url here provide the application url that is uh, this particular application url i'll give here freshly give this application page url here and once application url gets opened i need to navigate to the restart page for that i need to click on this my account drop menu inspect this my account and copy this and uh, control f double slash span text is equal to my account okay text is equal to my account copy this copy this xpath expression come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot xpath provide the xpath expression and say dot click once you say dot click here then select the register option inspect this and select the register option uh, by using the link text that is uh, driver dot find element by dot link text provide the link text locator and say dot dot click okay once you select a uh, register option here using the link text locator you will be taken to the register account page once you are taken to the register account page guys you have to enter the all the valid details except that this email address is an existing email address for which account already exists okay inspect this first name field once i inspect the first name field i'll get this html code which has an id copy this id come back here and write down the code here that is uh, driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the first name field and say dot send keys dot send keys provide the first name that is let me give the valid first name that is arun okay my name my first name here arun will be typed into the first name field after typing arun into the first name field a valid first name into the first name field i'll inspect the last name field here i'll right click and inspect the last name field here this html code of the last name field take the id locator of the last name field and write down here driver dot find element by dot id provide the id locator of the last name field and say dot send keys okay send keys put a semicolon here and type the last name here that is motori okay just type motori here then email inspect this email and copy this email address and here write down driver dot find element by dot id provide the id of the email field and simply say dot send keys and here i need to type the email address okay that is uh an existing email address guys for which account already exists for example a motori cap one at the red gmail address already has an email okay already has an account okay such kind of email address i need to enter after that yes. and uh, uh, we have to pass the email address for which account already exists okay so this is one example of the email for which account already exists existing email i'll inspect the password now password field and this is ID of the password field. Copy this ID of the password field and simply write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the password field and simply say dot send keys. Provide the telephone number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Okay. So give the provide uh, provide the telephone number one two three four five six seven eight nine zero. Provide the telephone number and after entering the telephone number, inspect the password field. Inspect the password field. Copy this ID locator of the password field and write down driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the password field and simply say dot send keys. Dot send keys and provide one two three four five as a password. Okay, one two three four five as a password. So one two three four five will be entered into this password field as a password. Now inspect this password confirm field. Inspect this password confirm field. Take this ID, copy this ID, and simply write down driver dot driver dot find element by dot ID. Provide the ID locator of the password confirm field, and then say send keys. And in the send keys, pass one two three four five as the password. Okay. Once you pass one two three four five as the password here, the next thing here is you need to select the S newsletter option. Inspect this S newsletter option, and uh, copy this uh, name name locator. Okay, copy this name locator with the we have to create an XPath expression with this name attribute and value, guys. Okay, so that this S radio button will be located. Copy this name attribute value and uh, control F double slash input at the rate name is equal to give the name. Okay, it's not coming here properly. So let me inspect it again. That is inspect this S radio button and here copy this. Give that name and uh, slash. 
okay sorry uh, another square bracket and say at the rate value is equal to one just say at the rate value is equal to one copy this x path expression guys copy this x path expression and write down here driver dot find element by dot x path provide the x path expression and say dot click so what will happen here yes newsletter option will be selected then i need to select the privacy policy field inspect this privacy policy field uh, on inspecting this privacy policy field should get uh, the name locator is there agree agree name locator is there come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot name locator by dot by dot name locator provide the name locator guys and say dot click once I select the privacy policy field, I need to click on the continue button, inspect this and here value continue is there. Okay. Double forward slash input at the rate value is equal to at the rate value is equal to at the rate value is equal to continue. Provide this X path expression, which will locate this continue button. Copy this X path expression guys and come back here and write down driver dot find element by dot X path provide the X path expression put a semicolon here and say dot click. Okay. This will click on the continue button with an existing email address. So what should happen guys, as per the expected results, as per the expected results, we should get this warning saying warning, warning, email address is already registered. This warning message should be displayed on the page. Okay. Account should not be created. Rather this expected warning message should come on the page. Expected warning message is equal to this expected warning message. And I'll write an assertion statement here from testng. I'll write an assertion statement from testng that is assert dot assert equals assert dot assert equals here expected warning message. I'll just write it down here and here actual warning message how to get how to get the actual message after clicking on the continue button with an existing email address. I'll get this warning message inspect this warning message. And here this particular due tag has this warning message. Okay, this particular due tag has this warning message. So there is something that, uh, yeah, what I'll do here is uh, this particular due class has a class here. Copy this class, control F double slash due at the rate class is equal to, at the rate class is equal to give that X path expression, which will look at this due tag. Under this due tag, we got that warning message message. Okay. Warning email address is already registered. We got copy this X path expression and here write down the code that is driver dot find element by dot X path provide the X path expression. And simply say dot here find element we have to write not elements dot dot get text okay if you say elements means get text command will not come so make sure that it, here element is there then you will get the get text it will retrieve the text between the this particular element tags and uh, if that particular text matches with the expected warning message the text is going to get passed and now I'll write driver dot quit here now I'll write driver dot quit here and for demonstration purpose. I'll just add the red dot sleep here so that the script will be faster. Otherwise, just give some three seconds uh, sleep time here so that we can at least see the warning message, whether it has come or not before it has closed the browser and passed the test case. Click on this run option and see whether the script is getting executed or not. You should launch the Chrome browser, then maximize open the application URL. You should navigate you to the register account page. Try to create an account with an existing. You see, warning email address is already has come, and after three seconds of wait time, you see the test got passed. Okay, so this is just for demo purpose to show you that we are getting that warning message on the screen. Okay, now in real time, you don't have to write the thread dot sleep. This is only for demo purpose to see whether the script is getting executed properly or not. Let me run the script again, second time. See that the script will execute perfectly fine. You see, it will be very fast and you will see that that is got passed successfully. Okay. So guys, uh, with the practical demonstration, I've shown you how to automate the ninth test case under the register account functionality, where we have to check whether, okay, we are getting a proper warning message when you are trying to create an account with an email address, which already has an account. Okay. So that's what is the test case all about. And that's how we have to automate it. So guys, uh, that's all for this session. That's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to automate the next uh, test case. That is the test case number 10. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.